I'm going to be doing a series on uh, Stephen Gundry's work, um, The Plant Paradox, uh, The, uh, the um, Longevity Paradox, several other um, things that he, his sales funnel, uh, and the science, this, or the evidence behind some of the stuff that he's done. Um, this is going to be, I've already done one of the videos. This is going to be a very difficult um, series for me uh, for a couple of reasons. There are places where I don't at all agree with Dr. Gundry. There are a lot of places where I agree with Dr. Gundry and do not agree with his critics. Uh, I'm trying some of his uh, supplements. I'm, I've got a healthy dose of skepticism around them. Um, <clears throat> Let me just give you a little bit more detail behind this. So, for example, I've already done one video on the, this uh, show, Lectins, the New Diet uh, Enemy. It was, uh, it's been covered in a lot of places. It was uh, created by interest in uh, Gundry's book, The Plant Paradox. And in it, uh, Joel Kahn just lambasted, um, Joel Kahn, the preventive cardiologist, just lambasted uh, uh, Gundry. At the end of the day, I mean, it, part of it had to do with um, beans. You know, beans have a lot of lectins. And at the end of the day, I ended up agreeing with um, Gundry. Stork didn't. Uh, and here's the issue. Lectins do actually exist. The most common lectin um, is not in beans. It's um, gluten. It is real. It does cause problems. And actually, it does uh, cause leaky gut. If you have questions about that, I've got a boatload of videos on um, haptoglobin. So look up haptoglobin, uh, my name, haptoglobin, uh, leaky gut, uh, zonulin, and you'll see what uh, the real science is behind that. Now, on the other hand, though, I get really, uh, as you can see, my head starts to hurt trying to figure out the difference between what some people on the internet know versus what the theories that they like and what they think they know that may not have a lot of evidence. And Dr. Gundry is uh, clearly one of those guys. I will say, um, well, let me just go through some of the topics that I'm going to end. I hope to have develop time to investigate because these are a lot of topics that I hear over and over and over again. Why do I hear them? I think one of the reasons is that Gundry has been incredibly successful at marketing his work. And I actually will be getting far deeper into marketing my work as well. Um, good, bad, or indifferent, I've always felt that, um, I've always had an interest in marketing. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you sometime my story about, I got, uh, I created my own little marketing, uh, selling candy and such in the fourth grade. This is before I knew it was unhealthy. Um, at school, uh, I didn't know that it was a bad thing. I was starting to make some good money for a four, four year, uh, fourth grader. And um, then I got, I got found out and shut down. And that's a, a different story for a different time. I actually got about halfway through an MBA at uh, NYU. When I was in New York, my, uh, my favorite topic and the place where I had to admit I had more skill was in the marketing area. So I do respect marketing, but that's not why I'm interested. That's not why I, I will be taking this channel in terms of doing more marketing. Here's the issue, and it gets back to Gundry. Gundry has created a lot of focus on preventive activities in this country and the world. Unfortunately, I think a lot of his stuff, as I said, doesn't have all the evidence that I'd like to see behind it. Um, but the bottom line is, uh, debate or no debate, this world is overflowing with people that are not doing the basics. So again, I'll be pushing in terms of uh, uh, sales funnels, uh, focusing on getting folks to actually commit to uh, doing some preventive work. Now, here's the question. Do, do I, would I agree that all this pre preventive work needs to focus on lectins? Not really. I do think that lectins are, um, 
are an important issue, and I do think there's a major hidden lectin issue, especially with uh, gluten. Resistant starches, I don't know the background on that. I'm going to have to do research on it. Tomatoes and eggplant, again, I, I approach it with some skepticism, but I'll need to do, I plan to do some investigation for evidence on that. The pressure cooker in these lectins, I tend to lean towards that, just logically, that sounds correct. I, again, I'll, this is my list of items that I'm going to need to, uh, to do some investigation on. But uh, logically, why does that work? Well, lectins, for the most part, you can argue whether they're proteins or proteoglycans or whatever, doesn't matter. Cooking them with a pressure cooker is going to denature and, uh, for the most part, uh, neutralize any um, impact that you're going to get from lectins. Perilla oil. The first time I heard about that was reading the book Plant Paradox. So I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit more. And this whole theory that MCT oil is good because it's liquid at room temperature. I've heard that before, and I wonder how much of it comes from this book. There are way too many supplements, and maybe way too much dependent on, dependence on supplements. I get frustrated with uh, folks selling supplements, and he clearly sells a lot. I do too. I mean, I, I'm going to sound two-faced. I, I do have some supplements. You can you go to my website, and you can you can find them, but um, I don't really push them too much. I, uh, I do have a, a strong belief, and it has not changed. Supplements are, you can't supplement or medicate your way out of a bad lifestyle. Uh, inulin, I'm going to be doing some, uh, take a, taking a look at the evidence behind this issue. Um, Fasting, burning ketones instead of glucose, uh, that's a core issue for this channel and what we do. Uh, the Plant Paradox Keto Program, I will say this, Gundry is the only other fellow that I've heard besides me, and I know that I, we're not the only ones, but it's not common for people to talk about being able to do keto within a plant-based diet. So um, I get really frustrated with all of the the debate and taking sides over plant-based versus animal-based um, and some of the assumptions that you can't do, uh, you can't do both. Um, eating fat, vitamin D3, uh, some of the, uh, oh, the, the eating fat is that statement that uh, he's made several times that um, you, uh, the purpose for food is to get olive oil in your mouth. Actually, uh, I think a lot of people criticize everything he does, and unfortunately, sometimes you throw the baby out with the bathwater. I do think that um, there is more recognition now that uh, fat is one of the better fuels uh, for the human machine. Um, you, you do, again, hear the, the discussion about sugar substitutes, um, that most of them are bad, some are not, inulin, erythritol, and stevia. Now, that is a issue that is a near and dear to my heart. Um, I am a past uh, sugar substitute addict. You could maybe say I'm a present sugar substitute addict. I am still dealing with that addiction. And I've investigated these. I would agree that uh, if there's evidence that, that some of them are not bad, it would be erythritol and stevia. I haven't looked that deeply into inulin. But... Um, Again, I'm not going to say for sure that those are the cases because um, I, it's very inconclusive, the, uh, the real evidence behind sugar substitutes. Uh, what, what's not inconclusive is if you look at somebody like um, uh, Richard K. Bernstein, he's lived on the old bad, quote, bad sugar substitutes forever. And he's uh, lived one of the healthiest lives uh, in our times. In his 80s, he had an HDL over 100, and he has he started off in his 30s as a brittle type 1 diabetic. So uh, don't tell me that these uh, all these sugar substitutes are that bad. Um, I would agree. I've seen the evidence. I've reviewed it where you actually do, um, they've actually done fecal transplants from, from obese folks that had insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes, and uh, created this in the recipients of these fecal transplants. So yes, there is evidence, but 
How big is it? I, I don't think there's a, enough appreciation for that. I will be doing some, uh, another area where I'll be doing some research has to do with polyphenols. Um, it's an intriguing space. So, uh, good, bad, indifferent? Yes, maybe all three. Uh, he, he has interviewed both um, Dale Bredesen and uh, Walter Longo and refers to them as good friends multiple times. I would say uh, uh, I know the work of the other two and I'm learning Gundry's work now, uh, just uh, at least out of curiosity and seeing so many things parroted from him because he's been so successful at marketing it. I would say this, by far the best science, the best guy at saying this is what we know and this is what we think but don't know yet is Walter Longo. Um, uh, Bredesen's not quite as good at, at that. And Gundry, like I said, is just major challenge because he's way over on the other side. Uh, here's the picture. You may have seen this in terms, speaking of his sales funnel. If you, um, if you get caught up with Tabula, and he has a big Tabula contract. I'll show you in another video how, I, uh, how you can investigate and, and, uh, and show that. It's this picture of what looks like bananas boiling on a, in a pan. And it says, this heart surgeon says this is like a pressure wash for your insides. If you click on that, you will get sucked right into one of Gundry's major sales funnels. Um, a, a videos with all of the classic things that you do in terms of sales. Don't get too deep in terms of facts. Just get play on uh, on emotion, play on simplicity, play on or implied simplicity, play on uh, sen create a sense of urgency. Uh, all of the classics. But again, I'm going to be doing some of that in the future too to try to focus people on stopping to quit sitting around reading, quit sitting around uh, looking at YouTubes and focus on changing your own lifestyle. Again, I'm going to be focusing this on what is known in terms of evidence. Um, a lot of the stuff that you would think originally uh, from Gundry, Gundry is not known. Uh, actually, there's more evidence than you might imagine. So if I sound like, I'm, I know I'm going to get a lot of haters on this video. They're, they're going to say, well, tell us what you think, either or. I'm not that kind of guy. There's plenty of stuff. I'm, I'm going to tell you the facts uh, as I see them. And I think uh, there are times when Gundry has been pilloried and criticized incorrectly. But there are a lot of times when he's been criticized uh, and he deserved it. So uh, thanks for your interest and... Uh, if you've made it this far, I appreciate your, uh, your patience with me. By the way, if you're interested, check out our website. We're going to have an event at University of Louisville Conference Center uh, where you can get your uh, CIMT and all your labs. And we'll have a two-day boot camp experience going over all of that.